Hey guys, welcome, welcome, it's Back in the Clay. Welcome, welcome guys, it's Back in the Clay. I'm in uh, downtown LA. It's about 11.52 uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, yeah, I'm starting a little ahead of time. I had a doctor's appointment, but that fell through, so I've been uh, scrounging around. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, I just found, I remember that this is the uh, So right here. Okay, this is an apartment. It's like, it's like, it's still here. This apartment complex, it's still here. It's like, it's the only old building on this block. And it is, uh, if you look at the uh, front for Pretty Woman, Julia Roberts and her uh, ladies of the evening, hey, JJQ, she was here. This is the location for uh, Pretty Woman. If you remember the, uh, the movie, Pretty Julia Roberts. This is the location in Los, down, downtown Los Angeles. Uh, this is like right across the street from the, uh, the crypto.com uh, and uh, the, the uh, LA Live. So again, this is, uh, hey, this is again, this is, it's, I guess, been, so right here, this is where Julia Roberts uh, got picked up by, by uh, Richard Gere. Okay, let's step away, okay. In the distance, we have downtown, all the overbuilt stuff, residents in. Okay, a lot of stuff uh, here. Uh, a lot of trees. LA Live's over there. Let's, uh, let's go next to this uh, Mercedes. Okay, stand over here. Okay. All right, so we can see it right there. This is the... Uh, this is it. Yes. This is it. So this is the, uh, okay. So we, we've seen it, okay, so you guys got a good look at this. Okay, so that is the uh, apartment from Pretty Woman. Okay, so yeah, the first couple minutes of my live stream, you get to see Pretty Woman location from the movie. Okay, um, yeah, there's a lot of homeless here. Uh, if I went around the, this is the only old building on the block. If you go on the other side right there, it's like homeless encampment on the other side. A lot of construction. Oh, look, there's a uh, water and power. Take a look at this. It's like an older 1923. I passed by this. It's a 1923 department at DWP, City of Los Angeles. So right there, it's an older building. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's like really, you know, you got the, uh, the columns and things like that. Different kind of architecture. Okay, then you got, it's, that's in the, uh, in the, you see in the whole scheme of things, Downtown is changing. Hotel Indigo, I saw one of those in Tokyo. A TCW, I saw a, a Price Waterhouse out there. So yeah, all the, uh, the big firms. And then we have uh, over here, LA Live. The crypto.com, uh, you know, used to be Staples Center. Okay, apparently, and then, you know, Peacock Theater is here now. Channel 4, they're here. Apparently it's really, I, I was already there. I forgot my, I forgot my mics. Yeah, well, cause yeah, come on. It's, it's their home. They got, it's easier. They don't have to like go somewhere, you know, stuff like that. Okay, and then the background between those buildings, those are the uh, ocean wide. Uh, we'll, we'll check those out uh, a little bit. But we, you know, this is the LA Live uh, right there. You can see look, they're reflecting. This is a JW Marriott and uh, Ritz Carlton right here. Right here, Ritz Carlton and JW. I was thinking about getting something to eat, but it's like kind of a little pricey, but I still might go. I don't want to, I, I, gotta, I gotta have something healthy because I have my blood test tomorrow. So after Japan, I think I, I came back and I gained weight after like just a couple weeks. Oh, I should have took the blood test right after I came back to Japan. I lost like 10 pounds. I think I gained it all back. Dang it, US, too good. Hey JJ, what's up? Hey George. What's up, man? Yeah, we just we just passed the uh, Pretty Woman. First couple minutes, we checked out the Pretty Woman uh, apartment complex. It's right over there. See right there? It's the only building on this block, old building on this block. Uh, we got a residence in, huge residence in, or something like that over here. Um, again, LA downtown is like just building, 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 and homeless encampments, etc. LA Live, uh, right there. They got the uh, Regal Cinema. Okay, this is like, yeah, this, also the street, the crazy, 
because this is the street, this is the entrance to the freeway. It goes, it goes to the entrance to the freeway. Right, that's a, that green sign, that's the freeway. So yeah, this, uh, that's why I used to come here all the time. You know, uh, that's why I knew the, the, the apartment looked, you know, because kind of, the apartment in the movie, I was like, that looks kind of kind of familiar. Then I passed by it every time, because I used to, we used to have a restaurant, so we used to, I used to come on down Olympic, and this was the, uh, the fast way at night to get through and then shortcut go over to the harbor freeway stuff like that so it's easy slim fast baby yeah what do you tell slim fast what do you say yeah it's a regal cinema yeah i know slim fast okay the jw marriott okay let's go let's go <laughs> they got herbalife across the street <laughs> So they're showing a lot of uh, movies here. Godzilla versus Kong. Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. Dune 2 is playing here too. They have the 4D, D, K, A, D, X, something like that. That's pretty good. I, I, I did it before uh, up in San Francisco. And it was a good experience. I saw um, Avatar 2, I saw that, and that was really good. Okay, let's, uh, let's go this way. Oh, yeah, let's go, okay, let's go. Oh look, we got the uh, dreaded uh, e-scooters. They're the lime lime variety. We're in front of the J JW Marriott, next to the Ritz Carlton uh, residence. Okay, over there, you see there's a yeah they changed it pretty wide um, a lot. Okay, just beyond this uh, residence in is uh, an older is Hotel Figueroa. I think that one's pretty famous among Japanese. For some reason, I'm not sure if it's a location shoot. The Hotel Figueroa was well known, in, you know, even 20 or 30 years ago, Japanese tourists would come here. For some reason, the Hotel Figueroa is etched in the Japanese psyche for some reason. I'm not sure if there was a um, movie or something like that or series or something happened there but it is forever etched. In the past, you see it's Apple right now, iPhone 15. It has been the Lakers for a long time on the, on the side of that building. So I guess they're big money, you know. And then right over on that side is the pantry. In the shadow of that is the, pan the original pantry. People were, we were talking about that the other day. It's still there. Uh, that parking lot is for the pantry, or back you know, behind that parking sign. Uh, about a block over is the pantry. Used to be open 24 hours, trucker portions, it was great. Vic's here, hey Vic. Okay, again we're in, uh, yeah this is, downtown has definitely changed. Really huge buildings and stuff like that. Oh, there's the Intercontinental right there in the background. Intercontinental, I think it's uh, Korean Airlines sponsored. EY is Ernst & Young, one of the very big accounting firms. Hotel Indigo, a lot of different skyscrapers here. We are in the shadow of the... Okay. Okay. Hotel Indigo, I think I saw one in Tokyo. Hotel Indigo. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so, and then there's this big residence in right here. Crazy tall. So yeah, but on the same block as the pretty woman across it overshadows a pretty woman location. The apartment is over there. A pantry. Your town. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, LA Live and then, you know, the, the Lakers, stuff like that. Okay, we're gonna go over here real quick. Uh, it's Yard House, if you guys like Yard House. Uh, I think the Carvery is gone. I think a couple of bunch of things is gone. Oh, the downtown car wash still here. Man, that's been here for ages, man. Okay, oh, I don't think we can get through. Can we get through? I don't know. Let's, let's try. Let's go. Let's go. It's a yard house. So let's see. There's a sign right there. Oh, no. I think we have to go through that way. Oh, Got to go through that way. Ah. Okay, next to the hotel. All right. Okay, let's, let's, we got to cross back over. That's the gap. I, can't, I think I came out that way, too. Are they? And they go, I didn't know. Let's change. 
Okay, let's go. Yeah, I, I got a $7 parking. I, I don't know, I'm kind of sketchy, I don't know. That's 15 here. Everywhere else is 10. Should have got a gated parking for 10. Oh well. And then going that way is the Pico Union uh, area. Yeah, my, my dentist, he called in sick today, so I couldn't, uh, I, you know, that's why I'm a little early, actually a lot early. I real early, because my appointment is at 11 o'clock. <laughs> but they, uh, okay. Right now, this uh, used to be a Microsoft Theater. Now it's turned into the Peacock Theater. Now I think they're doing uh, live uh, uh, shows here now. I think Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm not sure what or some kind of show is, 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 showing, is showing here. They're doing live, live, uh, live shows here now, uh, live TV shows. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, that, that's more revenue for you know, the, this area because a, uh, a lot of stuff's gone out. Okay. What is this? So a lot of the restaurants and stuff like that are, are, are pretty busy, you know, or there's brisk business. So people that come here for it, or, you know, for the tapings or whatever, or... So yeah, that's, it's new now. Apples never fall. I mean, I've seen the advertisements for that. So yeah, this is, I was gonna eat here. Uh, I could still eat there, but we'll check, we'll, we'll, we'll look around. There's not too many food offerings that around, you know, so, okay. Ooh. Okay, and then there's the uh, crypto.com across the street. Uh, they've, they've closed that, uh, the streets off over there. Yeah, it's in the shade real quick. Indigo apartments, okay. Okay, all right. So they still got this. This has been around even since last summer. They've always had, I think, some kind of car in display here at the Toyota. So right here, this is a... Okay, the Ritz-Carlton is a taller one, and then the JW Marriott is uh, the smaller one, right here, if you can call that small. Okay. All right, there's a bunch of places here. There's uh, Smash Burgers here. Yeah, I got, I can't eat Smash Burger, I want to, but uh, tomorrow's my blood test, so can't be doing that. Lazy Dog, you got some kind of sushi place. No, well, it's, 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 it's the middle of the workday. It's the middle of the workday, JJ. It's about, it is 12 o'clock right now, 12 noon. And it's tough to find parking out here too. Parking is a little pricey out here. Uh, it's like, uh, I found a cheap lot for $7, but that was for the app. Other lots are $10, other, other real lots, the lot, real lot here is $15. I think some of the old lots might be $20. So it's kind of steep for parking. You know, if you're paying on your own, like $7, eh, downtown LA. Okay, right, right across the street is a crypto.com arena. Oh, check out the main thing for our today. Let's, let's get in the shadow of the box office. Keep my phone cool. Okay. All right, we can look across the street. Okay, we'll do, uh, this is the one by, the two by. Okay, this is the ocean wide right there across the street. This is all the graffiti. Let's see what that, if you can see it. Yeah, the game, there's gonna be a Clippers game I heard later. So, so this, this is it, man. All this, uh, and then they have across the way, you got two other uh, towers. Wherever, I guess, pretty much close to where they have the, uh, the balconies or the eaves, that's where all the graffiti is. That's as far as my zoom, because I'm, 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 I'm far enough away so I could, I could bring in uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, I could, I could see kind of something. If we get too close to it, we probably won't be able to see, you, you know what I'm saying? If I get under it, I won't see any of this. So apparently a tagging crew came out in January, well, I guess when I was in Japan, and they just descended upon this location overnight, and they just, uh, just did their work. So let's look on this side. So there's like three different towers. Apparently 
in 2019, uh, there was a Chinese company that owned these, and they, they, I guess that was when they started losing money. All those Japanese, I mean, uh, Chinese uh, real estate firms started to, you know, they had ran out of money. So I guess, and then they, they stopped, they stopped. And then uh, I think they're saying now that uh, some of the contractors are saying that company still owes them money in the millions of, hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, they owe them. It's JJ. So yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it's been in the national or international news, actually. I saw, I, I just double checked it this morning uh, to get so yeah, this is this is it. So it's right across, right in the right across the street from the Crypto.com arena where the Clippers and the Lakers play, and the LA Kings, they play here. There's Kobe Bryant's uh, statue over here. I think Magic's here. Uh, let's go across the street. Okay, they close off the streets, so we get, they close off both sides of the street. Looks like somebody's uh, broadcasting right now. They're, or they're taping. Right in front of the Lakers. Okay, so. Yeah, right across here. So we're in the street. Okay, well, look across the street. You can hear people yelling. Okay, right here, we're across the street. You can see this is, again is the Peacock Theater. In the eve of the uh, Ritz Carlton, JW uh, Marriott. Uh, okay, they, they seem to have closed off the, uh, basically the plaza area. Tom's watch bar, a lot of. Uh, okay. Okay. We have, yeah, this was supposed to be something big, but they ran out of money. So they stopped constructing it. So this is the crypto.com. Hey, Pepe. Welcome, Pepe. Oh, jeez, Simpson. Okay, convention center is in the background. Just one block over is the convention center. Uh, so, yeah, this is a very, very well-developed area. Okay, let's see who's here. I think this might be Gretzky. Oh, no, it's Lou, uh, Luke Robitaille, not Gretzky. Okay, so it's a statue. Of, and then we have a Kobe Bryant statue. The Black Mamba. And then it looks like it's uh, Irwin Magic Johnson right here. So Irwin Magic Johnson. Uh, what? You're kidding. Everyone's dying. Someone else died today. Or, or, oh. Okibono. Okibono. Okibono just died, but he died earlier. They just announced it. The Hawaiian, the first foreign born sumo uh, grandmaster. Okay, he just passed away. So, uh, Akibono, Akibono from Hawaii, uh, they just announced it that he passed away. Oh, it's Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Movie star, baby. Kareem. UCLA, it used to be named Lou Alcindor. Oh, I didn't know that, man. Oh, I didn't know. Sorry about that, guys. Well, you know, whatever, God. Oh, there's Shaq. Dude, I see Shaq. Shaq's on top. Who else is here? There's Shaq on the top over there. This is Jerry West. Jerry West became the, uh, he turned, uh, uh, became the general manager of the Lakers, Jerry West. And then there's Shaq over there doing his uh, slam dunk. There's the Shaq. See right there? There's the Shaq. Ah, George. Yeah, I, I guess I've, I've been out all, you know, I haven't been around. I mean, I had to go to the doctor's appointment today, so I think this is Gretzky. This must be Gretzky. Yeah, this is Rain, Rain Gretzky right here. Who's this? Did we see him already? Oh no, this is Wilt the Stilt. Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt the Stilt. Actually, um, one of our customers at my, my parents' restaurant. No, it's Elgin Baylor. Oh my gosh. Guess what? Elgin Baylor? I went to school with his son. 
His son was uh, Alan Baylor. Went to my high school, and he was on our high school team, but he never could compare to his uh, father. Uh, Elgin Baylor became the general manager of the Clippers when the Clippers first started out. So, I think that's uh, one of the, let's go look over here. Yeah, they're screaming over there, I'm not sure why. I saw some people like with band uniforms. I'm not sure what TV show they're going to be doing at Peacock. What is this? Is this uh, not Vince Scully? That's Dodge. I mean, it's Lakers. I'm low Dodgers. Chick Hearn. Chick Hearn. This is Chick Hearn. Statue of Chick Hearn. So he's a longtime announcer for the LA Lakers. Of course, the Lakers came from. Uh, <laughs> What is it? Minnesota or something like that? Thousand like so they moved out here. So the Lakers. How come they're called the Lakers? There's no lakes around here. Who's this guy? Bob Miller, the voice of the LA Kings. Dustin Brown. I'm not sure who that is, but Dustin Brown. Stanley Club first player. Anyway, so Back to it. Let's take a look. Yeah. This is our main event today. Still across the street from the Graffiti Tower. We're standing. Uh... Hey, Tony. Welcome, Tony. So this is the famous Graffiti Tower right here. Well, a series of Graffiti Towers. You have to go a little bit close, I mean, a little bit into the street. Okay. Okay. All right, so where's LA Live over here? Yeah, this has become Peacock Theater. NBC is now uh, having a live, uh, live, uh, live TV here being shot here in the Peacock Theater. Peacock, I guess they rebranded Channel 4 NBC as the Peacock. You know, because that Peacock's long been its uh, logo, you know, since very, very long ago. So. Okay. Looks, yeah, there seems to be a lot of like limousines and uh, security out here now. A lot more than in the past. Let's just say that. So it's, it's I guess, a little bit safer. But still, the homeless is still out here. I mean, they're still, just still um, uh, on the outskirts, as well as uh, street vendors, a lot of street vendors. Like they have like little stations of LA, like little uh, LA Live, uh, uh, little canopies of uh, LA Live security. Okay, across the street, East Central, I think it's some kind of uh, mobile, uh, you know, like, uh, I think East Central, they tried to key on the uh, remote uh, or distance uh, working. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, German and Japan. Yeah, but you still gotta be careful. I mean, you really gotta still be careful. No matter what, I mean, it is uh, it is modern society. They keep redevelop. Cause there used to be a on that corner over there, where that big building is, used to be a theater. I don't know if it's still there. It was like a, a it's like it was a famous theater, but then they had Chinese movies for a while. Oh yeah, and that the building over there, the squat one, the gray, that that used to be a bank, and then remember they used to have clubbing, and then I think for a while, then they had the. Uh, what do you call it? They had the, uh, they had arts, a kind of art project and stuff like that. So, oh yeah, LA PD presence out here. So this again, we're in the base of the uh, graffiti plaza right here. So you can see right there. Let's get the shadows. So we're a, lot, a little bit closer. We're like, we're just right across the street. We're right across the street from it. We're 
We're right across the street from the Graffiti Plaza right now. And it's easier for the ones that are not the skyscrapers. And then there's a little banner right there. It says, still there, Ocean Wide Plaza. What the heck? Still there, Ocean Wide Plaza. Okay. So, so yeah, we're across the street. So it's never, uh, never completed. Okay, let's go. Let's move along. Okay, we're in the outskirts of the uh, crypto.com arena. So yeah, they, this is prime real estate. You gotta understand, this is primo real estate. The amount of money they spent, I, you know, you know <laughs> but to complete this, just pretty much a lot of it's, uh, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen. It, it costs a lot of money to get it to this point. Okay, so probably, so I don't know what this, maybe is this gonna be a parking lot? I don't know. But uh, I mean, this part. Before there was really nothing here except for like parking lots. So there were just a lot of parking lots here before. I mean, before there were like maybe some buildings. Okay, this, this block here, it used to have, uh, what do you call it? What was that, what was that place called uh, with, the, with the chicken wings and the girls with the orange, uh, orange tops or the orange shorts? Hooters, yeah, it had Hooters here. Right across from the convention center it used to be Hooters. So they knocked that down right around during uh, the first X Games that was here. They had an X Games that was here and then all of a sudden they knocked it down. I mean, you know, the, all those buildings that were there, it's like, you know, parking lots and just regular stuff, not mega structures like this. Okay, let's uh, look back over here. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Hooters, yeah, Hooters, man. Okay, let's see. Let's look at Okay, so, okay, now you can kind of see from this vantage point, you could see uh, the reverse side of the first built tower along with uh, what we couldn't see because again, they couldn't get out to where the uh, overhang, where there's no overhang. Yeah, I know. They're not, they're not. Yeah, they close a lot. In Tokyo, they close a lot. In LA, they've closed a lot. They used to have one in Pasadena. I, I mentioned that when I was there yesterday or the day before, or the, when I was there the day before, uh, the location it used to be. Yeah, Hooters, now I think there's another. Uh, I heard about another one, but I've never gone to it. It's called the Twisted Kilt. The Twisted Kilt, or something like that. Yeah, so it's like a kind of, a, I guess, a, you know, Scottish kind of uh, twist, you know, to the uh, to the whole Hooters. So they got these short short skirts for these uh, young ladies. I heard about it, but I never went there. But it's called a twisted kilt. I guess there's not too many around here. How much? What? Oh, clo okay, it closed down, expanded. Uh, China had some too for a while. I, I went to one in Shanghai, actually. But uh, it's, it's, it hits different, man, when it's Asia. I, 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 one of the hotels I was near, I remember I, used to, I, I stopped by it, but I never went in to the Hooters. And there's, there's a, there was a bunch of Hooters, but I, I think a couple of them closed down uh, in Tokyo. So, okay. So this one's pretty famous. This, you can see these big, 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 these big billboards are just crazy at night too. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the uh, AC something, I'm not sure what it is. Maestro's, Maestro's is here. 
Maestro's across the street. It is a uh, Maestro's is a steakhouse. It used to be is one up the street, or maybe they moved here. Maestro's is Chase Bank. Yeah, Maestro's is a pretty pretty top uh, steakhouse. Maestro's pretty good. This is the LA Convention Center. Like, okay, where uh, Anime Expo, you know, all these other conferences are here. It's like uh, it's been here for a long time. Then Crypto.com Arena used to be the Staples Center, home of the Lakers and now the Clippers. Okay, okay. Yeah, these these things are big. Air Max, feel the unreal. Watching live TV like Jimmy Butler, Hulu. Yeah, I haven't seen Shogun yet, man. I, I, Hulu costs money. So I just have like Amazon and uh, Amazon and like Netflix, you know. So, okay, let's take a look real quick. Okay, we're on the corner taking a look in the shade. It's a, little, a lot cooler in the shade. Olive, how you doing? Half your picture. So it's 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 crazy that this this could happen. I don't know, but I mean it happened. I heard it happened on one night. You know, one night of lax security, and L.A. is now infamous. It's all over like mainstream media. So I wanted to come out here and see it for myself. I, you know, it's, it's in LA, I'm like, I was supposed to uh, come to my dentist appointment, but my dentist, he, uh, sorry, you know, he bagged out, so, well, he couldn't make it, so he got, I guess he was sick or whatever happened, so I had to reschedule for another time. So I had, I was out here two hours before. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Ocean Wide Plaza. This is the uh, Crypto.com Arena, where the Lakers and the Clippers play. We have the LA Convention Center in the background here. It's all built up. You got uh, e-scooters littering the, the sidewalks. The other towers uh, or areas for the LA Convention Center. These big, crazy, Advertising, man, it's crazy. It's like it outshines the sun, man. If, even if it's in the sunset or whatever, these suckers will outshine the sun. I guarantee it. Oh, some guy. Oh, some guy is like uh, his dirt bike. He is like doing a wheelie. He's doing a wheelie again. LAPD is right there too. <laughs> They were doing that at Melrose and stuff like that, and then, we, then, they, then they started the, uh, you know, when they start doing this, then you know street takeovers are not too far away. Okay, anyway, so, oh, more homeless. Okay, we're gonna head, we're gonna head back. We're gonna go through, uh, go through the property of the uh, LA Convention Center. I'm gonna avoid the uh, homeless people. So people, okay, look, right here, you see these bushes? These bushes, this is the official flower of Los Angeles. This, I mentioned it the other day in San Gabriel. This is called the, uh, you know, um, the bird of paradise. The bird of paradise is the uh, flower, the official flower of Los Angeles. California's uh, official flower is the poppy. You know, the, the, the California the yellow, the yellow poppy. Remember the fields you see, the bloom. You have the big bloom, uh, you know, in the uh, valleys. Uh, that's, that's the official flower of California. 
Uh, Los Angeles' official flower is the bird of paradise. So this is the bird of paradise. The reason I found out about this, my, my, my mom's home, we had like so many of these freaking bushes. So, and then like, what the heck is this? So I found out it's the bird of paradise. Oh look, this is a pretty good picture. Do you guys know this is the bird of paradise? What's that? Bird of paradise. This is the official flower of Los Angeles. Oh, is it? Really? Yeah, this is the bird of paradise. It's called the bird of paradise. Oh, okay. sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, you can call me Peppy. My name is Ravisha Ducky Ravisha. Meet your crew. Yeah, I guess some crews are, are doing their stuff. Okay, let me, let me take a pic. Let me get a pic real quick. Yeah, there was, if you were with TE Stream last night, that was so sweet. That, Mount Fuji? That was so sweet. I mean, I took some pictures. I got to maybe post them. I'll probably tag uh, uh, TE. But man, there were some good, good pictures on my TV last night from uh, Mount Fuji. So hang on, let me, uh, let me take a pic. Okay. This is definitely the bird of paradise. Okay, okay guys, sorry about that. Okay, we're gonna move into the uh, area of the uh, convention center. Hang on, let me close up my bag. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna get over here. I'm gonna, uh, let's see. I'm also going to take a swig. So anyway, let's take one last look. I guess, you know, this is the main event today. This is the Ocean Wide Plaza, AKA the uh, Graffiti Tower, graffiti, you know, LA Graffiti uh, Skyscraper, or series of skyscrapers. Oh, you mean, yeah, yeah, a lot of people, all of, a lot of people actually weren't alerted. Even like uh, Win, Windja, uh, I guess from Indonesia or something like that, I don't know where, but he, he said he didn't get alerted. So it's not you, it's, uh, it's not you, it's YouTube. I just happened to randomly, see, I didn't get alert, or maybe I did get alert, but I didn't notice it. But what I ended up doing is I was just flipping through YouTube at the time, and I just happened to be home. I just got back and I was like, okay, hey, TE's on. Lucky it was like maybe six or 12 minutes into his stream. So I, I got a good portion of his stream, so it was pretty good. But you know, hey, come on. YouTube is definitely way past its expiration date as far as use. You know, all they've been doing is just, uh, you know, just what do you call it? Uh, just band-aids. Anytime that you, you know, it's, it's, it's a software from the early 2000s, you know? There's no two ways about it. It is, it's a software from the early 2000s. If it had been Microsoft, you know, Windows or, or Office, definitely would have been you know redone but it's it's such a big platform or such a big uh such a big lift i don't think youtube can i don't know if they can do it or i don't know hopefully hopefully someone at youtube is in development team is developing a whole new app because twitch twitch is on you know twitch is more geared toward what it is being used now youtube uh basically the program itself is not geared for what it's doing now. It's geared for what was going on in 2005. So therefore, it's, it's a dying model. So even though a lot of people are getting revenue from it, um, it is definitely showing its age. I mean, I can't, I don't know when it's gonna sunset. You know, who knows when it's gonna get sunsetted? Well, check that out. Sister cities of Los Angeles. Okay, let's see, what city, sister cities. Russia is St. Petersburg. Jakarta, Busan, Auckland, Mumbai, Makati, Taipei, Nagoya, Athens, Kanas, e something, Bordeaux, Giza, Beirut, El Eitlat, Split, Tehran, Guangzhou, Lux, Lusaka, Salvador, Mexico City, 
San Salvador. I guess it's pointing in the directions. Vancouver. Vancouver? I didn't know that. Okay, so those are all the sister cities of Los Angeles. Let's get in the, let's get in the St. Petersburg. I've never been there. Let me what? Let me, let me what? <laughs> let me in Yukus live stream. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get it. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Yeah. You, yeah. You, yeah. But it's, it's touch and go. It's, it's YouTube, man. Like I said, what do you expect from a 15? No, no. It's 20 years old. It's about a 20 year old piece of software. Nothing, nothing you have dependable is from 20 years ago. 20 years ago. What is, what's 20 years ago that you're still using? Maybe your car, maybe, you know, if you took care of it, but you know, a car from 20 years ago, uh, it, it simply can't handle, you know, the stuff that we're doing today, or it can't do, it can't do what we're doing today. You know what I'm saying? But if, if it does it, it does it very poorly. Okay, this used to be my secret spot to park. Oh, this is where some of the Anime Expo photographers like to like hang out to, you know, they, they get the cosplayers and they, and they photographer here. And this area, this little area right here, they do it too. And this is where I used to park. This is like a little spot I used to go. I used to come all the way over here to park and then be real close so to the shade and come into the convention center for Anime Expo in the old days. Used to have my uh, ice chest in there, boxers. Yeah, you know, the thing is, that's not strange, actually. You know, I had like, even my, my, my niece and nephews are growing up, I had boxers that were older than them that I was still using. I mean, you know, a guy sometimes will not let go of a boxer or a brief until there's like, one thread left, you know, but they're still using it, you know. I think guys are pretty much the same way, you know. Oh, look, they got the uh, Alexis here. It is Lexus 2023 NX. Yeah, I'm not sure about what the NX was, because I always saw it. I didn't know what it was. For a plug-in hybrid. Oh, it's a plug-in hybrid. NX is a plug-in hybrid. Okay, so NX. I, I've seen the NXs around, but I, I never knew what they were. Or, or maybe it's another a line, but they have a, a plug-in hybrid. Oh, not bad, but it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, all those cars getting kind of pricey. I don't need, you know, I got my hybrid now. I got it just before the pandemic. So again, we're on the other side of the crypto.com arena. Hey, Chris, how you doing, man? I just went by the Holiday Inn, man. Uh, yeah, last couple of walks, I, you know, I didn't record them, but yeah, I saw it. They were getting, they're getting ready to open. They have interviews. Um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, what's that? Something Fresh? Uh, you know, a tea, tea Fresh or whatever it's called? You know what? That's everywhere I go. They have it in Tokyo. I saw it in Yokohama. Uh, I saw it in London. I see it everywhere, you know, I saw it, you know, it, it's uh, tea fresh, whatever it is called that you guys have at the building over there. It's everywhere. That thing is like corporate, you know, and it's, I think it's, you know, the uniformity, it seems here in LA a lot, but the, yeah, I know about the surgery, man, but I know you've been in LA. You told me you're going to be at the Holiday Inn in Monterey Park. Yeah. So I went down, I went, I walked by there. looks like it's almost, almost done. So we're here at LA Live. Oh yeah, across the street, this is the uh, Ritz-Carlton, right across the tall tower is the Ritz-Carlton, and right beside it is the JW Marriott. Yeah, so we're here at the LA Live. So we just went to see the uh, graffiti uh, skyscraper. We're now passing through uh, the LA Convention Center area. Yeah, a lot of stuff's happening here because I think the Peacock uh, Theater now has been uh, uh, now in, in session. It used to be the Microsoft Theater. Now that NBC has, uh, they're now broadcasting uh, TV, you know, from this uh, theater. It is a nice theater. Anim Anime Expo used to use a lot, especially when it first came in. So a lot of people out here for food, things like that. You know, there's monies out here. Japanese potato, that's pretty good. 
That would be pretty good, man, at the Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn was a very low brow in the, in the old days when we were growing up, low brow. Oh, there's another, another statue. What's up here? LA Kings was, we saw Lou Robitaille and uh, Gretzky on the other side. What's over here? What do we have here? Whoa. Oh, it's just LA Kings. It's LA Kings and the Stanley Cup. I guess Stanley Cup statue. Okay, and this LA Lakers play here. Okay, so crypto.com arena. Okay, we have the Peacock Theater across the street. The parking structures are right here. And then in the distance, we can see rush hour traffic on the Pasadena freeway right there, just passing through. Rush, well, it's actually noon traffic. It's about 12.38 uh, in the no at noon time. So, uh, yeah. So parking, parking lots over there. There's parking across the way in private, private lots. There's parking over there on the other side, other lots. But a lot of, uh, a lot of new buildings around now because of, uh, I guess, money. The parking lots are now turned into buildings. It used to be just lots of lots. Now it's gone. A lot of, lot of buildings out here. But you know, this is a, this complex here is like a, a little fortress. I think uh, bounded by LA Convention Center. We have this LA Live complex, the hotels across the street. Uh, you, you know, you, it's basically a little like a, a compound, just like Fort Apache. Uh, you know, it's there's security within this within this bounds. So that's why you don't see any homeless within this uh, this perimeter. So otherwise, usually in the past, there you know, if if this there was no security here, there would definitely be homeless in every. Uh, every acre just outside this perimeter however there is there is you know some encampments which i pass by just on the same block as the pretty woman apartment that we, we started with slippers in our rooms interesting japanese girl Gyoga buffet that's yeah it's, it's good i mean i've been still considering it's been it's been decades now and i'm still considering it i mean my main concern about the bidet is the uh, maintenance. Maintenance. It's a high entry level too. To get a toto out here is just very, very expensive. Uh, you can look at for it on Amazon, but then you got to get it installed, and then you got to think about daily maintenance. If you're using the crapper and it's messy, who's going to be cleaning that stuff? You know. You know what I'm saying? Because it still gets messy. I mean, we don't have hotel staff to do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go. We're in the middle of the street here. And this is a they're blocked off street right here. We're right in the middle of uh, the Peacock Theater. Let's show you. Peacock Theater right here. Okay, we have uh, the LA Live. We have the uh, Crypto.com Center right here. We have the, uh, the Ocean Wide Plaza across the street. In the background, okay, is the uh, surrounded by the LA Convention Center. That's brawling lot. Like I, oh, I just Chris, I was just at Dodger Stadium last week. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst, man. But yeah, so yeah, the thing is that there's no way to get in there, and they're trying to. They're thinking about what LA is thinking about, or Dodgers are thinking about, is basically. Um, getting a gondola just like the air cabin they're gonna do an air cabin i think from one of the regional parks la county parks to uh into dodger stadium so that's the they're not trying to solve their actual situation by using any mass media i mean they have buses already over there but uh that go in there but buses are it's, it's still the roads so you still can't can't do a lot of stuff so that's unfortunate just like the lax la international airport same thing I think they're going about the wrong way. They're, they're just having the people mover go in there and everyone comes out the lots. All the other countries and other international airports let the, uh, the subway go in immediately, you know, but I guess they're not, LA is not gonna do that. Yeah, thanks a lot, George. Uh, no, they don't, they don't do that by themselves, dude. No, Chris. That's what they have, those old ladies. 
the seniors, the seniors, they have a lot of old ladies, you know, even in a hot onsen, they're old ladies or even young ladies. I mean, one time as a young lady in Asia, you have ladies that go in, even if you're undressed, no, got no stitch of clothing, they come in and do maintenance because it's oh, sometimes they're open all, all the time. So they do maintenance and as ladies. Sometimes I was kind of surprised one time I went to an onsen and there was very young ladies that were doing maintenance in the, at the, uh, inside the guys area. And the guys had nothing, wearing nothing. Okay, so, okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, okay, we're gonna take one more glance over here, guys, at the ocean wide uh, plaza. Okay, it's been it's been good, right? Uh, the uh, the video and audio feed's been pretty good. There's no, no drop offs. Okay, good, good. Thanks, JJQ. Please remember to click the like button if you can. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Looks like more people are coming out. Uh, more groups of people coming out. Okay, we have the okay Peacock Theater here. Got lots of security and uh, personnel. Uh, LAPD, you know, is here too. Let's see. Crypto.com Arena, they got concerts. They got TV shows. Okay, this is LA Live. Okay, Peacock Place. I guess they have like a, a, a VIP area probably over there. ESPN is still here. What shows are happening today? Uh, this is the uh, Arlen Hamilton, uh, your first million. First million? Conference. Okay, conference. Oh, it's a conference today. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So they have a conference today. So it's doing a lot of different things. So. Okay, so we're in LA Live. Lots of, uh, lots of security. Lots of name tags. I guess that's what the name tags have, are for the people that are at the conference. So, okay, there's a Smash Burger. I don't think they have the Laurie's uh, Carvery there anymore. But then we have the uh, JW Marriott and the Ritz Carlton right here. I was thinking about going to eat here. Yeah, Dodgers. Yeah, yeah. You got to uh, maybe go off to. No. Uh, yeah, it just came out today about Shohei uh, that. Uh, they did the, a newspaper, like the New York Times, I think, found evidence that Shohei really was in the dark. Somehow, Ipe used something, and he, had, you know, uh, and there's like three different sources that he was able to somehow get into his account, Shohei's account, without Shohei knowing. And that's scary if there's some kind of backdoor like that. So basically, that's scary for even me. You know, if someone could get into your bank account. Yeah, try StubHub, Chris, StubHub, StubHub.com, StubHub. Okay, uh, that's where I usually get my, my tickets. You really get some really good deals. Okay, so you just gotta be watching for it. Uh, StubHub, StubHub. I did, I did when Angels game, when 2019, when Shohei was over at the Angels. I able to get some really good first base uh, seats. Three, uh, three of them for me and my Japanese friends. So anyway, so a lot of people, just eating out here. I'm gonna go ask and see if I can go uh, film inside. So let's let's go inside over at JW Marriott. And hopefully I have reception. So I gotta turn it back toward me. I'm hungry. Hang on guys. Let me see if I can get some food. Let me see, let's go in the shade. 
Stop up, yeah, yeah. Home or bank account. Okay, let me see if I get that that salad. And I can't. It's. I should have got liquor if I did before. Now I, I'm. I'm gonna leave soon. I don't wanna get any food. You know, get any liquor. Let's see if I get that salad. Hang on, guys. Let's see if there's any room. Before I came, it's like 11-ish, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of room. Maybe it's like too full now. It's just lunch. It is lunchtime right now. Yeah, I guess like really busy lunchtime. Oh, let's see. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. No, I don't know. Let's see what it is. It's Hello. Are you the same as out here or no? Are you the same as here or how separate? What, what is here? Uh, it's a Italian. Italian? Italian? Yeah. Oh. Menus right here? Hmm. Mm, it's, it's the same thing. I'm just gonna get this. I get the salad. I'm just getting a salad. That's why. Yeah, maybe. I have a question. Do you mind if I if I video myself eating or no? Even yourself. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll get I'll get the salad. The the Caesar, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let me look for a place to. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay guys. Okay, let's sit down. StubHub, yeah, yeah, StubHub. Okay, okay. Thanks a lot, JJ. Uh, I just finished my taxes yesterday. Uh, I didn't notice that my um, my CPA had already sent my bill and my stuff to sign two days two days prior. So last night, uh, I last night I uh, did my taxes. So um, I did my taxes. So let's, let's let me take a look real quick. I'll get the Caesar. I don't want to get any. Let's see. I'm gonna get the Caesar, yeah. I don't want any meat because um, I got the, 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 what do you call it, tomorrow, doctors, my blood test. Yeah, someone just mentioned that in the chat. I didn't see that myself. But what I did here uh, on NHK was that uh, Akibono, Akibono, uh, hi, uh, Hawaiian born, uh, first foreign born sumo uh, grandmaster, passed away. Uh, well, he passed away earlier this month but they just announced it. Uh, his agency just announced that Akibono, and then there's been an outpouring of, uh, of you know, you know, of stuff because Akibono is very, very popular, well loved, uh, you know, even in, uh, even in Japan. So, but yeah, so he, you know, you know, you know Akibono, right? Akibono, he was the first grandmaster. I, um, yeah, and I think he retired like almost 20 years ago now. But he died at like 50 something. But he, the guy is. A large man. Sumo is just a very large sport. Hang on. Yeah. Let me get all this stuff off me. Oh. Okay, I got the mic on. Yeah, Akibono. Yeah, so you can check it out. So apparently he just passed away uh, recently. So that was very, very. Um, yeah. I mean, for me, Akibono. O.J. Simpson. Yeah. Lore from. Uh, and you know that O.J. Simpson, during the time that O.J. Simpson was alive, before the controversy, he was one of the three sports figures that people knew in the whole world. 
that means like OJ's, o, you know, OJ, Babe, Babe Ruth, some other athlete, but sports athletes, he was one of the widely known uh, sports athletes in the world. So that was crazy. I mean, uh, so I'd heard that mentioned before the incident occurred that, say Babe Ruth, say OJ, you say someone else's name. There's like three fi sports figures and he was one of the, the most known sports figures of notoriety before this whole, whole other thing came up. So anyway, but yeah, that, that puts a, you know, an end to the legacy. Uh, just the, the Caesar. Yeah, are you gonna drink them? Oh, just the water. Yeah, water's okay. good. And would you like to add any chicken or anything? To no, I I got items? I got blood test tomorrow, so I gotta keep everything. Okay. It's just Caesar. I gotta clean. I want a good blood test. Okay. <laughs> and they're saying the avocado and chickpeas on it. Is that, that okay? That's okay. That's I'm, yeah, as long as no, not too much protein. No, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah, okay, but, yeah, but he was. Come on, think about it. You think about um, the and it was, it was a heart failure. Definitely, definitely heart failure because think about it. Your the heart, your heart, is carrying around a very large person, and you have to do that. You know, every when you're sleeping, when you're not sleeping, all the day, you know, your heart is active. So it's helpful for you to have a good, like the cholesterol kind of situation. Uh, you, you you don't want clogged arteries. So you have clogged arteries. That's going to make your um, heart. Um, you know, basically have to function harder. So you're gonna have to have an enlarged heart because of overwork. Yeah, so I mean, so I mean, that's, that's all of us as human beings. We have a lot of different uh, functions for different organ systems. We have our, you know, we have, um, the, what, what do you, okay, wait a minute, here's a little quiz. Do you guys know what the largest organ in the body, in the human body is? Uh, no, no uh, uh, jokes aside, what's the largest organ in the human body? 500, wow, yeah, yeah. They were saying he was like, I think, yeah, 200 kilos. He was 200 kilos. That's at, at his, when he was at his peak. It was 200 kilos, kilograms. So, Akibono. So, but that was, yeah, that was, that was crazy long time ago. Akibono. So, yeah. Man, a lot of people have been dying, you know, it's like this, I mean, I don't know if, uh, if it's because of COVID, because they're saying that um, some people were uh, having long, you can have long-term effects after COVID. Oh, oh my gosh, stints, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, oh, every day is a salad day. Yeah, one of my other guys I know from living in Hawaii now, he had, he, years ago, 10, over 10, 15 years ago, he had open heart surgery. He's a young guy. He was like a bicyclist. He was on the second team for the 7-Eleven uh, team. Like, you know, 7-Eleven is a bike team. I don't know if they're as famous as they used to be, but he was on the second team for 7-Eleven for the, you know, the, the, bike, the bike racers. So he'd be in Griffith Park going up and down the hills. He, every, you know, he'd be going uh, up and down those hills. He was like elite, he was an elite bike, you know, bicycle rider you know, race bike, you know, so, and then all of a sudden had a heart murmur and then he had to have uh, open heart surgery. Thank you. Of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, oh, I got paper straw. It was like, oh, George, oh, George. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, uh, very catchy, very catchy. Very catchy. Yeah, but he got into a lot of trouble after that. I think in Vegas he was in jail for a long time. There's something about um, the uh, memorabilia, stuff like that. Yeah, so that was uh, unfortunate. You know, he didn't have the, uh, you know, the lifestyle that he wanted to have, you know. Well, maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but yeah, I know for a long time he was a big man at USC because I went to USC, so uh, yeah, and then you had other situations that happened, so yeah. Well, we're here, we're here to get some uh, Caesar salad, the Caesar pastrami, 
pastra- uh, avocado, avocado something. Somehow it's a California fufu salad, right? They gave me some nuts. I think it's candied uh, walnuts. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if it's apparent, but the largest organ of the human body is your skin. It covers your entire body. So the skin, the skin is considered an organ. Yeah, apparently. I don't think he was that that, that big. Because you have to constantly eat in order to... Um... Yeah, so we went to that sumo restaurant. Uh, uh, Kirisha's... Uh, he's from, again, Kagoshima. So we went to, we went to his... Uh, uh, Kirisha Chanko over in, um, in Sumo Town in Tokyo. I went there the last couple, uh, the last weekend. Uh, Skim's a big boy, I bet. But everyone's skin, even yours, George. These walnuts too tempting. I can't. I can't eat too many of them. And I was expecting to have my my teeth done today, but that didn't happen. So it's gonna have to wait till June. We are in uh, April. What? It's gonna be two more months. It's gonna be two more months till I have my dental. Oh man. Oh well. It's okay, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Tony, thanks a lot for coming by. You take care, guy. Tony, how's the weather now in uh, in uh, Sweden right now? Is it still cold, cold, or is it like getting warmer? Because today it's uh, I'm wearing shorts, I'm wearing flip flops or uh, uh, sandals, and it's uh, 80 degrees, 80 degrees here, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It was 84 yesterday. I guess it's cooling down. It's going to be a lot cooler this week. I think it's supposed to rain. I think tomorrow, the next day, so it's going to go drop back down to the 60s Fahrenheit. Yesterday, last couple of days was pretty good. 87, 84 was pretty good, yeah. So two days ago, I was just too nice and warm. I didn't want to didn't want to stream. Okay, bye bye, Tony. Yeah, I gotta start to put some more uh, more widgets on my on my chat. I gotta start to do. I gotta start thinking about membership, membership stuff like that, and icons stuff like that. So, gotta do that. Oh, it's getting warmer? I know in Tokyo, like the Sakura was, it was pretty good for Sakura. Yeah, I missed it. I totally missed it. I like, Megaro, I think we saw, we saw the Sakura over by Mount, near uh, Mount, well, 
Mount Fuji's area is very, very vast. So uh, I think it was Yama, 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 Yamagata, Yama, Yamanasha that, that uh, TE was in last night, or yesterday. So that, yeah, so you could still see Mount, Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji looks so good, man, with all the snow at the peak. Every, not every year is going to have snow peak mountains over on Mount Fuji, so it is pretty good. So that was a very good picture. So I, I took some pictures from my TV last, last night. So pretty warm. Yeah, okay. Mm, interesting. Yeah, so but what, what's the temperature, Tony? Is it like 12, 10, 5? I don't I don't you know cuz I guess here would it be 20? It's over 22. Maybe 22. 20 no, it may be 25. It's over 20, at least 25. Oh, 28. Wow, I think, yeah, that's pretty nice. I think it's around 25. Maybe 28. 25 is about 75, I think. So it could be maybe yeah, about the same here. Um, yeah, not in the 30s, I know that. Not in the 30s here. Yeah, Pepe, I think it was about the same here because it was 87 Fahrenheit. I, I, don't, I don't have my calculator. 87 Fahrenheit to Celsius is what? 87? 30 is what? 30 Celsius is what Fahrenheit? You guys have a computer or you have a... Yeah, my app is on my phone, so I can't, I can't use it. Still wait for my salad. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a nice, nice place. I know that for Anime Expo, we used to, we used to go up to some of the rooms uh, upstairs, conference rooms upstairs, to watch, uh, you know, watch anime. Like they would have uh, viewing rooms, like uh, all through the Anime Expo. You're, you're able to uh, see uh, different anime. Uh, some of them were adult orientated, some of them were just regular. And then a lot of times, sometimes there were premieres. So premieres, you had crazy people along lines to get in. People would be waiting for hours in front, you know, and then it, the line would just go snake through. Thanks a lot, George. Not for you. Oh, yeah, well, that, we don't have the humidity here. We have a dry, it's a dry heat here out in LA. If we have a moist heat or humidity, it's maybe one time a year, I mean, at the end of summer. But by and large, it's a very dry heat, almost like, because it's, it's a desert. Humidity, no, it's aridity, basically arid, because um, LA is, is uh, the, eco, the, uh, the biome is like a high chaparral. High chaparral or desert biome that the Los Angeles basin is, is natural. So, by putting all this water, putting all this vegetation, you're artificially uh, changing the biome so from what it actually is. But in actuality, this area is known for high chaparral or like a desert kind of biome. It is 1.06 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We've been online for about an hour and close to an, almost an hour and 15 minutes. Thank you for coming by. Please remember to click the like button. Oh, now you have to go. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Tony. Let me get the other phone out just to get ready for, uh, where is the other phones? Let's get this phone. Thank you very much. Let me get a pick, do a flyby.
Okay, guys, I'll show you guys what I got. <laughs> Pay for my meal. Okay, let's go. Guess what I got? I got the, uh, eh, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be, but hey, for LA, downtown LA, I guess it's adequate. Well, you just got the, the candied walnuts pretty good. Plus we got tax and tip. So definitely more expensive than Japan at this, at this juncture. Well, it is, it is a salad. Okay, let's go for my go for the salad. Wait a minute, is that new Pepe? It's a new Pepe. Is that Pepe or what? Pepe's got a new profile? Another fictitious Pepe profile? Yeah, avocados everywhere now, even in Asia. I told you before, like um, a number of years ago, California mayor at that time uh, had a junket to Asia. So even China, Japan, Korea, everyone has avocados now on the menu. And I think for a while China was squeezing everyone out because they wanted the avocados. The demand in Asia or China was so great it raised the prices of avocados across the world. At least California avocados. Auto avocados are the most water intensive crop ever. The amount of water that you need to harvest an avocado is so great. Funny Pepe. <laughs> Ravisha ducky. Ravisha never getting a break, huh? Yeah, toward the end, I walked back toward the um, Pretty Woman apartment. Location shoots with a movie, Pretty Woman. It's just like one block away. Yeah, wearing a uh, wearing sandals today.
Yeah, I stopped in on, um, before I went to sleep last night, I stopped in on Daniel on the UK's yes, that stream last night. Hey, Ninja Monkey, how you doing? Having my avocado salad? Oh, jet lag, yeah. Took me one week this time. I think I gained all the weight I lost too when I, when I was in Japan. <laughs> when I got back here, that was bad. <laughs> Daniel and Kyle. Hey Nathan. I was hoping for a, a thing last yesterday, but I guess, I don't know, did you do a, a thing last yesterday? Um, um, I didn't see one. Oh, okay, got you, got you. It took me a week to get over it. I was like sleeping at odd hours. You know, it was just crazy. I slept for very long hours too. That's not a problem. Yeah. Oh, you got to edit. Oh my gosh. And congrats. Dick. You finished. That's good. That's why I don't. I don't know how to edit, man. I can. I know how to edit, but again. Too much like work, man. And then the processing power you must need. You must need a lot of processing power. I have computers that I could use, but you know, I have them laying around, but should, should get them into action. See you later, JJQ. Oh yeah, yeah, that was good. Oh, that was so good. The next thing, the next thing is Godzilla versus Kong. I want to. It's showing right over here, but I don't know. Maybe I don't know if I want to see it right now, but maybe soon. Wait a minute. Isn't it on Amazon or Netflix? Oh, that was a good movie. Godzilla Minus One's a good movie.
What? What? Uh, that, that means I definitely gotta watch it. I gotta watch for the Rocket Gibraltar. Sounds good. But I know I remember, <laughs> I remember what the, I mean, it's so small. I mean, the rock of Gibraltar, I mean, well, Gibraltar itself. Nathan, I gotta catch you next time in, in Gibraltar. It's such, a, it's such a nice, intimate place. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, man. Next time, we'll 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 meet up in Gibraltar or over oh, Japan. Easier for Japan, I guess. But we'll see. We'll see. But I really had a good time at the um, apartment or um, the um, the place that I stayed was really nice. And right outside was the Rock of Gibraltar. I mean, what, everywhere outside is my 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 apartment or whatever. It was like it was just so crazy. It was like I had a um, a balcony view of the Rock of Gibraltar. It was just so it was just right in my face. Is that the way it is, Nathan? Everywhere? Yeah, but. I was only there for a tiny time. I went up to, uh, had a, thank you. I had a good um, tour guide, so it was pretty good. And we saw the, the, the monkeys. So mon no monkeys did any monkey business to us, so it was pretty good. So I went down to the caves. The caves had um, Wi-Fi, so I was able to live shoot from the caves. Um, the only part is the outside of the rock was sketchy for the um, for live streaming. Um, and also the top, the top part of the rock uh, was kind of hard for streaming. The rock is everywhere, yeah. I mean, I got there at night, so I couldn't see it. You know, you know, I didn't really know. But in daytime, yeah, it's just like in the morning, open the windows, dang, it's right there, kaboom. Yeah, it was right in my face. Candy walnuts, man. Too addictive.
Oh yeah. That night I also streamed um, at the Japanese restaurant using their Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi didn't work. Or the card, the card I got from UK, um, the chip didn't work. I tried the chip I had in Gibraltar. I tried the chip I had in Sweden. None of them worked. The only thing that worked was T-Mobile said, oh, welcome to Gibraltar or something, welcome to Spain. But there was no, there was no reception with, with, uh, with uh, my, my T-Mobile. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, it's a fasting. So tonight, after a certain time, I'm not going to eat, so. There's also a blood in here, and so. Don't eat before Christmas, George. I'll probably go for another 11.99 special after the uh, blood test. Oh, it's a blood test, an annual checkup. That's what it is. Too bad it's not like the Japanese one where they they give you a crazy battery test, which is good. I don't like pancakes actually. Pancakes are usually dry. I just don't like them. You know, I've had them all my life, but I just came down to it. Pancakes aren't for me. Even at the pantry. It's always pretty anticlimactic. Ice chips only. Ice chips, baby. I used to work at a hospital too, and then they would order um, on the. Um, it basically ice chips. So I didn't realize what the importance of ice chips was, you know. So, it's, you know. Um, as a kid, as you know, younger, when I was younger, ice chips. Why would you want ice chips? But it's kind of important, I think, you know, ice chips. Now oh, that was good. I'm glad I had a salad. I, don't know. I think maybe that's going to be the only thing. I, maybe I have some veg I have some carrots, baby carrots, and some celery in the refrigerator. Celery is kind of. Uh, but I know the baby carrots are okay. So I do the baby carrots. Um, what else? I better not defrost that, uh, <laughs> that Tommy burger, Tommy's chili burger. Better not, that, that I have to wait until after the blood test. Uh, yeah. Water, I'm gonna try to limit the tea, even though I brought a tea. I brought the old tea, but I, I'm gonna limit the tea because that's the, you know, just trying to just level it out. So sometimes I think I have too much tea. You know, the tea, tea consumption is too high. Yeah, that's actually Anesthesia, wow, crazy. Yeah, it's kind of hard, yeah, it's like, this stuff will just drip out of your mouth, man. Anyway, but, yeah, that was my food. That was my food, so. I'm going to pay. So, you guys, watch, watch my stuff. I'm going to pay um, right back.
Was it done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I wanted those walnuts, but I can't have them. Oh, Can no. Candy, candied walnuts? Come on, before my test? <laughs> no, you're kidding. I love them, but... They are good. Yeah, I know, but it's... it's, it's, it's it, it was just a Caesar, right? Yeah, just a Caesar, that's it. So I was like, I can't... Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, perfect. Okay. You do know the Pretty Woman apartment is just up the street. Oh. You know Pretty Woman? Oh, the apartment's up the street? Yeah, right there. Okay, you see this resi residence, residence, uh... The residence Yeah, it's the same block, opposite corner. There's only one building, oh. and that's it. You go to the front, you see those, um, the, uh, the, 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 uh, iron rod, you know, balconies. The oh, escapes. Right? On this side? Yeah, oh, it's, it's right, right, right oh, there. Going to the freeway. You go into the freeway, it's on the right hand side. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, so it's there. So just let you know, it'd be, uh, they're surveying it today. I mean, the area. So you better be quick because you know how they, things get knocked down real fast in this city. Okay. I haven't seen that movie in so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Boy, you guys got a lot of charges now. I know. It's <laughs> like, uh, uh. Thank you so much. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you're fine. Have a good one. All right. I was, okay, okay. I was like, what? I, in this life now, it's like, no. I have enough trash. I mean, not that it's trash, but you know what I'm saying. No, I hear you. It's stuff I got to shred. Right. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay, guys. Hey. Oh, gotta go? Okay. Thanks a lot, Nathan. All right, you take care. Yeah, we're gonna go back to go to the Pretty Woman uh, uh, apartment. So, Nathan, if you're still there, uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna check out really quickly. The uh, get it end pretty soon, or or I'll, I might I might do drive stream. Uh, so we're gonna go check out again the uh, Pretty Woman apartment. So it's just around the corner. So it'd be like. Five minutes. Okay. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. Okay, guys. Well, we, we don't know. The, the Top Gun house. Oh, they have the Top Gun house still around? Dude, that's the, some beach area. Miramar, probably. Okay, let's get going. Okay. All right. Let's get going. Let's see, where are we? Okay. All right, we are here. Let's get out of here. A nice little couches out here at the ballet area. Can I get out this way? Okay. okay ooh. Okay. Okay, so this again was LA Live. We were just at the JW Marriott uh, for uh, some lunch. Like the fees, they, it was $15 for the salad and they had six more dollars or seven more dollars worth of fees. I was like, what the heck? And then they had the <coughs> And they had tax. So they had automatic gratuity. It was like, what the hell? I thought it was $15. I said, $15, not too bad. But then it was nuts. 
Well, I guess, you know, hey, can't help it. This is, well, it's a little windy. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind. You can see the, the wind. It's not cold wind, it's just a cool wind. So, it's not, it's not, it's nothing. On a day like today, it's a pretty nice little wind. Ooh, a nice breeze. The waves are flat, the flags are flapping. Ocean, oh, it's an ocean side. Oh, yeah, of course. Ooh, I'm in the shade, too. So, huh? indigo's up there. Oh, the, uh, the freeway's right there. You can see the, oh, freeway's traffic is, is let up, so maybe we'll go on the freeway. I'll take you guys on a drive stream. Maybe I should go to the other side then. We could we could go from a car. I haven't had this site. I haven't seen it from I guess because I was on the same side of the street. So let's go see it from across the street. The pretty woman uh, ap uh, apartment. What the heck was that? Oh, there's a little sticker here. Not for everyone. This is downtown LA. Okay, okay let's go. There's a 24 hour ATM over here. Flat rate, no money. Ten dollars though. Got the Mexican uh, taco trucks. Okay. Uh oh. They got the homeless people that are crouching on the uh, on the sidewalks here. Ten dollars. So I gotta risk my life and limb so people can uh, sleep on the sidewalk. So the apartment on the right hand side, that's a pretty woman uh, apartment right there. Just behind the ficus trees. On one side is the uh, freeway, Pasadena Harbor Freeway. It looks like we're gonna have to go onto the street before that person's cardboard house. Okay, it's right there. Okay. okay, we're coming up on it. This is the only old structure on this block. The only other structure is the residence in by Marriott and just parking lots, empty parking lots, ready to be, uh, you know, constructed on. Okay, here we go. We gotta go into the street. So it's the Hollywood tour, I guess, huh? These guys are living right outside the, uh, on the street, living outside. This is the pretty woman apartment right here. Okay. I should get a picture from this angle. Lucky no, none of the homeless people are. So this is the pretty woman apartment right here. But there you go. So this is it, guys. If you haven't seen it before, this is it. The balcony is where uh, Julia Roberts was waving. Do you guys see that or no? You guys see that? This is, a, this is a, again the, the uh, pretty woman apartment. Okay, guys, right here. You guys see that? No, they're living on the street right beside me. Okay, anyway, so oh, okay, anyway, uh, so you guys got it. You guys get a, a good, good shot of it. 
Uh, there's nothing here anymore. It's probably the only one left. There may have been. There, there probably was. People actually, there were actually houses here before too. But this has become the last remaining older structure. And you can, you can notice uh, there is the retrofitting, the earthquake retrofitting. You see those nuts with those plates? That's the earthquake retrofitting. So basically, it, it, it even, you know, it, some, they actually spent money. Someone spent money to get this retrofitted for the earthquakes, you know. Um, okay, so, uh, so this is a pretty woman apartment. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, how am I gonna get across the street? Okay, uh, okay guys, uh, don't look, I'm gonna, I think I might have to jaywalk, dude. Oh man, sorry about that. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, it's 916, so that's the, uh, the address is 916. Close, to, this property close to the public. Okay. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I parked over here, so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is probably gonna uh, get into the car, excuse me, and I'm going, we're gonna take, go for a little ride. Okay, hang on guys. Uh, Jason Alexander, you know he, he was he was a scumbag. Jason Alexander was a scumbag in this uh, in the Pretty Women. You now Jason Alexander and Pretty Women, he was not the not the hero. He was definitely not the hero. Oh man, it's really hot in here too. Okay, all right, hang on, guys. Okay. It's really warm in here, but it's really nice air conditioning in that in that hotel at Marriott. So it's pretty warm in the in the car right now. So I don't know how long this uh, live stream will be because of the heat. The phone is pretty hot. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna straight go on the freeway right now. Let's see, we're gonna do a little dry stream back. I'll put the, uh, I'm gonna check on the freeway. No, let's go to the diamond lane. Let's go to the diamond lane. So we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit, uh, let's hit little Tokyo. Let's get out of here. Okay, guys. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're turning this direction, and that's the pretty woman. Uh, that's the pretty woman apartment we just were at. Whoa. Okay, we're not gonna get on the freeway because it's like way too crowded. Okay, make a right turn. Okay, on the left hand side is the pantry, the original pantry. Oh, okay. Okay. I see homeless. Okay. I see homeless people. Oh, see, let's turn the AC on. Man, I haven't turned the AC on in a while. Come on, let's go AC. Pretty woman tour, right? Don't think so. I'm picking up any women. Not in LA, not anymore. Yeah, that was uh, even then, it was kind of sketchy, you know, talking about picking up people like that. That was truly sketchy, let's just say that. Sketchy and dangerous because actually, someone around that time or just before, my buddy, uh, he's from Singapore. So he picked up someone at the bus stop. And that was the weirdest thing that guy did. 
So the pantry is right here on the left hand side. The original pantry cafe right there. So yeah, I reared in, picked it up. Okay, we're on figure over now. Okay guys, I can't read the chat as much. Sorry guys. You know I'm driving now, so no you don't hear the text to speech, so still figure that out. Sorry guys. Maybe check out, maybe do a test stream later today. Um, try to test out the text-to-speech. See that on the other, other phones. That's, uh, let's see. Let's see how that works. So I was supposed to do that in Japan. Never did it. <laughs> I just saw the city of Irvine, I believe, uh, is going to go to, not black and white, they're gonna move to Teslas, or have a little uh, a portion of their fleet to Teslas, uh, and then uh, it's not gonna be black and white, it's just gonna be white. That's the city of Irvine, believes. I, I thought I saw that. That was very interesting. <laughs> 